In this video, we are going to watch the moment when a drug dealer who was behind the wheel of this Audi backed into this detective in his bid to try and run away from the consequences of his own actions. Thankfully, neither the officer or her two colleagues were injured during this incident. Let's have a look at the footage that was released by Warwickshire Police before we break down what happened and find out what happened to the wrong one behind the wheel of the Audi. Before we break down what happened, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel because nearly 90% of you who watch this will forget to. On the 3rd of March 2021, officers attempted to stop 24-year-old Matthew Crofts in a car on Rugby's Bath Street. The plainclothed officers had a very dynamic situation on their hands. Not only did they have the driver to contend with, but they also had potential wrong-uns exiting the vehicle. And don't forget that the suspect's vehicle also has a passenger in the front. At this stage, the officers have no idea as to whether or not any of them are armed. At this point, the first unmarked police car comes into the shot, ready to block the front of the Audi off, should the driver decide to try and floor it. The police officer driving the Hyundai did a pretty good job, as there was no way that the wrong one was going to be able to get through this tiny gap, without causing considerable damage to the front end of the Audi. At this point, the detective has a rapid decision to make. Does she go for the driver, the passenger exiting the vehicle, or the front seat passenger? As a former Metropolitan Police Officer myself, it is worth pointing out here that this is why you often see police officers swarming a car where they believe the occupants might be wrong ones. Despite what many civilian journalists in the mainstream media want you to believe, what happens next is a common occurrence. Here is another incident where a Met officer was struck by a woman who was driving a car that was clearly on false plates. Rather than facing the consequences of her own actions, she decided that the best thing to do would be to drive off and take the officer with her. This is one of the reasons why a police officer will often ask you to take the keys out of the ignition when they are speaking to you. Thankfully, this officer was okay. If you want to see the full video of this incident, then we'll leave a link in the video description. Anyway, back to Warwickshire Police. At this point, the officer who is driving the Hyundai has exited his unmarked police vehicle in order to try and detain the driver. But the wrong one behind the wheel of the Audi has already decided that he will not be hanging around for the upcoming Section 18 party. Meanwhile, this officer has exited the second police vehicle, but does not get a chance to do anything because the wrong one behind the wheel of the Audi is about to reverse into him. At this point, the first officer now has to face the fact that the Audi driver is going to be going backwards and that he does not care, police officer or otherwise, who gets in his way. As the wrong one reverses, the police officer standing next to his window tries to smash the glass. The officer in the baseball cap has to move to prevent himself from getting crushed. Meanwhile, the first officer gets pushed back into the bollard by the car. The CCTV operator then does an excellent job of sticking with the Audi driver as he speeds away from the scene. And just think, if you would have gotten in his way, do you think he would have cared if he crashed into you or your family? Clearly not. And although he thought he had escaped, DC Karma would soon come knocking on his door. 24-year-old Matthew Crofts from Gill Crescent in Halton was charged with dangerous driving, being concerned in the supply of cocaine and being concerned in the supply of cannabis. And in Coventry Crown Court on Friday the 5th of August, Croft was sentenced to 54 months in prison. Detective Constable Matthew Rapkins of Rugby Proactive CID said, This was an outrageous incident in which a drug dealer was prepared to put members of the public's lives at risk in order to get away and save himself. He has knocked over a police officer in the process. 
Thankfully, nobody was seriously hurt and his efforts to hide evidence was all in vain as officers quickly located the evidence. Detective Chief Inspector Neil Reader said, Cross thought he could escape justice and he was willing to endanger police and the public to do that. As he discovered, actions have consequences and his reckless behaviour only got him into more trouble. Drug dealers are not welcome in Warwickshire. They prey on the vulnerable and try to destroy communities. All involved in this criminal activity can expect to be brought to justice. As ever, we would like to say a huge thanks to our channel members for supporting our channel and we'd like to welcome David Osborne to our virtual team. Channel membership is basically YouTube's version of Patreon. If you'd like to support our team of former emergency services personnel by becoming a member of our channel, then click on the link in the video description. Or maybe consider sending us a super thanks instead. We always reply to any comments or questions which have been left with a super thanks. Becoming a member is easy, just click on the join button that appears underneath the video. And if you want to send us a super thanks, just click on the thanks icon.